I've been active in, the, in diabetes uh, for over 50 years. For over 35 of those years, I have developed detailed treatment protocols for nurses, nurse practitioners, uh, clinical pharmacists, and physician assistants to treat diabetes. And using those algorithms, the control of diabetes has improved considerably. For a number of years, I have tried to get the principles of these algorithms. This is the algorithms of adjusting insulin doses available to physicians. And I went to my son, who is a uh, computer expert as well as a businessman, and asked him if he could computerize these principles so that they would be made available to practicing physicians and clinicians. Uh, after several years, he, was, he and a colleague were able to do that. They became FDA approved, they are CE registered, and they are very uh, comprehensive. At Melodis Health, we've developed powerful software to automate the algorithmic dosing of insulin. Our simple solution, Insulin Insights, offers insulin dosing recommendations to clinicians in 30 seconds. Insulin Insights can handle all the types of insulin, can handle 125 combinations of insulin. The uh, program can handle over 60 glucose meters and all eight uh, insulin regimens that are commonly used. So these are very comprehensive algorithms uh, which can be used in one of two ways. One way is what we call the desktop version. A patient comes into the clinic or into the office, you download the meter, the glucose meter, and within 30 seconds you get a report and this report contains a, a scattergram of all the glucose values, a listing of all of the values pre and post prandially and before bedtime, an analysis of all these values, and then recommendations of how to adjust the insulin doses, which the clinician can accept, can modify, or can reject. And whatever the new doses are, they serve as the basis for the next analysis of the glucose values. The fact that it automates the decision making for the provider in a way that they can rely upon, I think makes, makes their life so much easier and they can move on to other discussions with the patient. Your time is very limited in these clinics. And so rather than humming and hawing and trying to guess how much change you should make to their insulin doses, there it is, boom, your, your, your the algorithm tells you this is what you should do, this is how you follow them up. It kind of takes a lot of the uncertainty out of decision making. The second way it can be used is what we call remote monitoring. In this approach, there are certain meters that can be attached to a, a smartphone and every time the meter is used to test the glucose, the glucose values are sent to a uh, very secure HIPAA approved server. And then at stated intervals, these uh, reports are sent to the clinician, not to the patient, but they go to the clinician. The clinician makes his or her decision about uh, what they want to do, and then either he or she or a staff person calls the patient to make sure that the patient is really taking the insulin the way it should be done, and then these recommendations are put into, into effect. My A1C level when I entered the study was 9 or above. Uh, at the end of the study, my A1C level was 5.7, which is considered like a not diabetic risk. In the remote monitoring study uh, at the Venice Family Clinic, all of the patients who we could contact and who uh, tested enough for the algorithms to work, every one of those had a rather significant fall in their hemoglobin A1C level. The study showed a 1.9% drop in HbA1c at 90 days, and a 2.4% drop in HbA1c at 180 days. Depending on the insulin regimen, the patient only needed to test once every other day to twice a day. Also, no change in patient behavior was required. I only would go to the clinic every three months for them to check my A1C and my blood sugar levels. But every day with this meter, I would know what it was, you know. It's tremendously um, it, uh, disruptive for patients in their daily lives to have to stop what they're doing and come to see a physician, and it takes a long time to do that. The remote monitoring gets around that problem. 
My experience in the study and with the software was really kind of eye-opening for me because I just really understood that it saves so much time with managing my patients who have uncontrolled diabetes. Um, during my regular visits if, with patients who I see face to face, maybe half of the visit is me trying to get their blood sugars off of their meter, asking what day and time this is. Sometimes their meter, the date and times are off, um, and I have to review, is this sugar before lunch, before dinner? So that completely took out that kind of like wasted time that I had on that, and I was able to focus more on making medical decisions with what their blood sugars were showing. With this program and with the medication they were giving me, I was able to control my diabetes. I hope that this kind of an approach with computerized insulin dose adjustment algorithms can have a significant and profound effect on improving diabetes control and therefore improving the lives of these patients and saving the medical uh, care system uh, a lot of money. That's really the basis upon which I embarked on, uh, on all of this.